There are 11 island beauties vying for the Miss World Guam 2017 crown, but at the heart of the pageant is its commitment to the community. Beauty World Guam Organization Public Relations Officer Lucy Nicholas. It's about caring. It's about making sacrifices because our beautiful young ladies believe in this vision, beauty with a purpose. The Miss World Guam candidates have been preparing themselves to fulfill this mission and vision. And here are your contestants. Janessa Leon Guerrero is from the village of Jotnia. She is raising money for the Guam Hogs Motorcycle Club. Her parents were members of the nonprofit group for seven years. It taught me a lot about helping our community and it made me become inspired by it. And I felt like it should become my passion as well to help others because it's a great feeling to help others and giving back. Shailene Solis is from the village of Ordot. She is raising money for the Ali Children's Shelter. It's because knowing what these children can go through being neglected, it it's so hurt knowing that it knowing that these kids go through this, it just it hurts because they can't run anywhere. Mariah Saldana is representing the Make-A-Wish Foundation. She says she first heard of the organization at school when she met a boy who was diagnosed with cancer. We further talked about it and he said that the Make-A-Wish grant him a wish and it really helped him. And knowing I can make an impact like that in someone's lives and give them hope again. It really inspired me. Carmela Navaretti is from GIGO and is raising money for Youth for Youth Live. I've worked with them in the past year with their 2017 conference and they're amazing people. They, suicide is one of the biggest problems on Guam and they help um, teach about how to cope with it. Dedito's Janella Juca was working with the Guam Memorial Hospital Volunteers Association. I wanted to help these ladies help raise funds for the patients to help them promote comfort and welfare so that the patients will feel very safe and just comfortable being in the hospital. 21-year-old Kayani Minjola is raising money for an organization that is close to her heart, Sanctuary Incorporated. When she was 15, she was diagnosed with depression. It's like depression, anxiety, PTSD, and so I really wanted everything to tie in together, and the people at Sanctuary, they are so loving and they are so dedicated to helping our island's children, and that is why I chose them. 21-year-old Aaron Wong is working with Special Olympics Guam. As, as an aspiring special education teacher, um, I work closely with the kids with disabilities on Guam. And to be able to see them in a different aspect, aside from the classroom, which is working with them with Special Olympics Guam in sports-related activities, it's, it's really good for me to to really build on the relationship that I have with them in the classroom. Meet 23-year-old Anania Nalta. This recent EOG graduate has chosen the Hadza Foundation to raise money for. This nonprofit's mission is to protect, promote, and preserve the Chamorro culture. They mainly focus on healing, uh, traditional Chamorro healing methods, and I believe that um, the Suruhanos or Suruhanas, the healers in our culture, they're a big part of the Chamorro culture. And I feel that it's very important to continue that tradition, to continue those practices and pass it on to um, our people. 21-year-old CJ Elka is from Dededo. She's working with Island Girl Power. I wanted to help the program help young girls to, um, through positive activity, activities make they can make positive, healthy lifestyle choices and make positive changes in their lives and also in their family and friends. And finally, 19-year-old Destiny Cruz is from Inarahan. She is raising money for the Down Syndrome Association. I agree with their underlying message, which, which is support and positivity. I love that they encourage people who are dealing with Down Syndrome and as well as other developmental disabilities that you can live a full, amazing, normal life. The Miss World Guam pageant is scheduled for Tuesday, September 26th at the Sheraton. The winner will go on to represent Guam in the international competition scheduled for November in China.